Right, chaps, welcome to uh, Napoleon. I, like, okay, I copy and pasted Napoleon's DNA. Um, and it was him as an old man, but he's 16 here. So, well, we'll see if he grows into his looks. I don't think he will. Either way, we start over here in uh, Ajaxio, which is where Napoleon was born. And we have a 50 martial individual. He also has 21 stewardship because, fun fact, Napoleon was a shrewd businessman. By shrewd businessman, I mean he hated businessmen, but during the... Uh, the whole reign of terror of the guillotine, he would go and buy people like dead people's or soon to be dead people's stuff and then sell it. So uh, he did very well, despite the fact that he hated him. Uh, I've made him arrogant, diligent, ambitious, and callous. Uh, yeah, I think that's fair. I've also made him irritable and melancholic. He's also a dwarf, even though it wasn't short because I'm an Englishman and I find it funny. Uh, Napoleon overcome seemingly insurmountable odds on the battlefield with consummate ease, turning whole campaigns into the death maneuver. I mean, that's fair. If ever there's a man in history that deserves that, it's him. He's also got aggressive attacker, organizer, reaver, logician, military engineer, forder, and then yielding defender. Some of these are self-evident. Something like reaver, you might be surprised at. The reason I've done that is because only two of Napoleon's campaigns didn't turn a profit. Uh, it was the venture into Iberia, the march into Russia. Our plan is to first, like, take over France, if we're able to. And the second is to then try and do what we can to, in Napoleon's lifetime specifically, to, uh, I guess, get as... as close to the French Empire as possible. We're gonna have a hard enough time getting to France because fun fact, we were under the Holy Roman Empire. So, and it looks like our closest neighbor that we're gonna have to take over. Oh, we'll have to go for Sardinia here. We're gonna go Marshal, we'll go Chivalry. He doesn't have that great prowess, by the way. It's okay, prowess 12. It's okay, it's average. You versus me. Saturday, 7 p.m. GMT, wheel stream. For those of you who are new here, this is the ultimate form of human suffering. I have three hours to complete a challenge in EU4 whilst chat does their best to stop me by spinning the wheel of punishment. This time, there's the wheel of pain and the bigger wheel of pain. This has delightful punishments such as mayo shampoo, crack an egg on your head and like it, and eat three bites of onion. Raw onion. If I ultimately fail to achieve the aim, I have to go skydiving. Did I mention I'm scared of heights? I think that makes sense. He's more of a, a tactic man than anything else. I'm making money though, so I think what we do immediately. Those are already pike on. Let's grab ourselves some bowmen. And let's head south and try and shore up. I think let's create an island base first and then see what we can do to defeat the Roman Empire. I mean, Napoleon would be the one to crush it, so maybe we want to do something like that. I'm under Lombardy? Really? I thought it was independent. Oh, you just created that now, did you? Oh, God, he looks even worse. I mean, this is the actual... Uh, coat of arms for the House of Bonaparte, but Christ, that looks horrible. Immediately win a duel, because, you know, Napoleon. He's 17 already. <laughs> He's growing up. Conquest begins now. He's at a tournament, the idiot. Straight in, rinse him, and it's already done. Let's continue. This should give us enough of a power base to start making some moves. I kind of want to go, I, I don't want to just expand for the sake of expanding. I do want to get to France as soon as possible. Oh, God, we have a terrible bit <laughs> in Musta. Oh, Christ. Obviously, I'm capitalizing on the Napoleon film, which... Uh, a lot of people think it's terrible uh, in terms of historians, mainly because really, I think it's mainly because Ridley Scott made an inflammatory comment saying that, oh, were you there? Well, then shut up. Um, and I watched the film and some parts of it obviously are not that historically accurate in the slightest. Uh, it does feel like everything he does is for Josephine instead of just being for Napoleon. Like, for example, uh, it was framed that he found out about his wife cheating and that's why he left. Um, Oh, that's useful. That's why he left Egypt, when in fact uh, the British Navy won a very, very successful uh, naval battle which threatened uh, his entire army. So he left, he abandoned his troops. Uh, I might be simplifying it a little bit, but that's basically what happened. Uh, and yeah, similar, similarly, when he was uh, exiled to Elba, the island of Elba, uh, he was also, it also made it seem like, oh, she's in trouble. Josephine's in trouble. I need to, oh, nice. Uh, let's go flex what he does. Uh, Josephine's in, in trouble. She's ill. I need to go back to her. I love her so much. Instead of it being, uh, hey, there's political opening right now. Let's go and take advantage of that. Also, Austerlitz. Uh, Austerlitz, like the lake would play too much of a big role. Uh, the Napoleon did not fire at the pyramids. That kind of side. Missing out the entire Italian. I feel, okay. I felt like the film suffered more from. I don't know why this turned into a film critique, but here we are. The film suffered more from a lack of scope. Um, whereas in the scope was too large. Like you can't, you can't not show Italy when talking about Napoleon, because it, the sense I got from the film is that Napoleon didn't really, it wasn't justified as to why uh, he was so arrogant and um, and that sort of thing. They also made him a bit weird, which like, yeah, he was a bit weird in real life, but they made him too weird and he had no charisma, which the real life Napoleon had oodles of charisma. Uh, but I think that's enough about the Napoleon the film and more about Napoleon, the conqueror of 
well, all of this land. Okay, this is gonna be our final and hardest challenge. Have I not been leading these armies? Where am I? Wait, am I just, yeah, I'm just wearing that for fun. A stupid outfit. I suppose he's wearing military gear. He's more like Napoleon than I thought. And it looks like William the Conqueror has taken the throne. Actually, rather inconvenient for us. Some money's for me. So I can't declare war. <clears throat> Voice crack there. Mm, I can't declare war. I think I can declare war over here. I'm going to be outnumbered a decent amount. But that's, I think, is fine. But Napoleon, after all. Did he just immediately leave? Okay, he's trying to. We're rapid. Should be able to siege as fast and he can beat me. Oh, he's going to come and fight me. Get another men at arms regiment. We can afford some uh, some footmen. I like getting a, a variety just because it feels smarter. Right, that's a lot of land conquered. Now, let's get a claim. We're going to fight the Duchess Matilda. And then I think, again, I really don't want to expand too much in Italy. I want to go straight to France, but I don't know how to do that. My idea was I get free and then I use that as an opportunity to become under the French. Then trying to simulate Napoleon's life as much as possible here. Oh God, give me a physician, please don't. Napoleon, please don't die. All right, so we're going to declare war on the Duchess Matilda. He has an ally though. We win three to one. About to find out. All right, we have to catch them as they land like this. Excellent because that then allows us to get a bit of a bonus against them. Don't really retreat to me. Nice. We need to keep chasing them down. Seems a bit weird they could just retreat into my land. Nice. Stack right there. And just in time as well, because more troops are rising. But this is what I'm saying. This thing here. Recently disembarked. I think they still had it. Okay, I'm going to get Bellum Justum, and then I'm going to switch over to Medicine, because I need to get loads of health and try to keep Napoleon. Because, again, yeah, the video ends when Napoleon dies, right? So they're presumably going to retreat to the same place. All right, there we go. Please finish them off. Nope. Okay, they are going to land more troops here. We cannot allow that to happen. Please get a stack wipe. Nice. And a second. Oh, we captured her. She was leading the army. Oh, it's very successful. It's so successful. Okay, now I want to do two things. Firstly, get this last thing here, so we have a secure island, and then after that, well, first we also need to get married. So we have a high stewardship. This is going to be our Josephine. And that's going to allow us to get way more. One more, at least. The Able. Count Napoleon the Able. It's an okay name. There are worse ones. Now we get to sell a bunch of prisoners. And we can become the Duke of Corsica once we shake off our shack. When is our truce up with this guy? Oh, 20 months. Nice. That works really nicely. Okay, well, we can wait eight months. And we'll use the money to develop a uh, Jackio. Jackio. Whatever you want to call it, a little bit further. Call our son Napoleon. We're now a wise man. Okay, cool. We've got the claims we need. It looks like my region is in the independence war. Can I join? Because we're not allies and they're at war with my liege. But I, okay, so I can't join the revolt. Oh, that's convenient. Uh, I, I hope this revolt lasts and wins because that makes my life a lot easier. Ransom him for 10. Uh, in fact, can we ransom him? Ransom him for 50. Maybe we also want to get a military academy here, but I can't do that just yet. So I can't join this side because they're at war with my liege. But then also I can't join this side because... I will ward my leech. Okay, cool. So we've been poisoned. Increase the size of our men at arms. You know, I'm pretty confident I can I can head into France. God, Napoleon does not get prettier. Oh, this looks like anti-Napoleon propaganda now. Sure, thank you. I'm now Marshal Lombardy. I'm now Oh, fine. They're fine. They just they just destroyed the Emperor. They might actually win this. If they win the siege, I think they win. 95, 96, 99. 100, yeah, they won. Well, all righty then. Declare a cheeky independence war. Is he actually going to try and land on me? I do not advise this. I miss galleys in this game, you know? I miss being able to have a navy. Obviously, the navies didn't fight, which just kind of sucks. But, like, I miss navies. They make so much money even, oh, my God, even without, uh, like, having everyone fully raised. Okay, this doesn't look anything like Napoleon. That's fine. Wait, do I need to... Why do I... Okay, I'm in an independence war. Why do I need to land on him? That makes zero sense. Like, surely I only have to defend my capital. I'll go raid him if I have to. I'm just saying I shouldn't have to. What is the war goal? It doesn't say what the war goal is. There we go. And we're independent. Duke of Corsica. Now, are we able to swear fealty? No, because we're not a neighboring liege. Okay. So the Genoese are about to win that. Because they're going to take it over. In Barcelona. I could, I could nip into Barcelona, as the British might say. Pregnant again. It's unfortunate. Dangerous faction. Who? Who's trying to rise up? Oh, well. We'll see about that. Sorry about the gout. Oh, no. Wait, I went, I went to him? I went to my rival to see him sick. That seems a bit, I mean, that's something Napoleon would do, I reckon. Okay, so everyone rises up and that's fine. I'm, I'm surprised with how historically accurate I'm being. Well, obviously, you know, within reason, but Napoleon putting down peasants with an army? If that doesn't sound like what he did in Paris, I don't know what does. Increase my marshal by one. Yeah, nice. What's that, 51 marshal? Now 50 marshal, nice. When do we lose a marshal? We saw quails. That's nice. Now, let's create one of these. Drop that. Duchy building, which means now we need more levies everywhere. Going to debt there. An issue with church and state. Mm. Oh, like, come on, get out of debt, please, before anything else happens. 33, right. Time to fight a little girl. Should be able to swear fealty to the French. I think we're going to beat him in a siege race, you know? 
Ooh, it's gonna be close. Fine, we'll just beat them on the, on the field instead. It's such a horrible bid, Napoleon. You can do better than that. And we'll give this to Napoleon Bonaparte. France, my beloved. Not a neighboring liege. Pretty sure he is a neighboring liege. Pretty, pretty sure he is. There we go. Savoring, there we go. Uh, low a few obligations, please. We gain 100 touch because we're ambitious and arrogant. Yeah, she keeps on making me work. We need to try and become king. I reckon we do this easy, you know. We're gonna go for uh, domain folk. And we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, meritocracy. 97% I can't talk about. Mm. We're surprisingly low dread for being Napoleon. Not gonna lie. Claim on the kingdom of France. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna have to help out, aren't I? Unless the Pope's willing to give me a claim. We are massively outnumbered. I'm gonna go straight for Lyon. Who are we fighting here? There's a random war like that. And then there's this independence war, which I don't want to fight. So I, I'm gonna stay out of that one. Hopefully they ignore me. But we need to make sure this Lyonnais one does not. Look at us defending France. Look at that, we win. You're welcome. That's the best I could do for you. In the meantime, let's shore up our home of a, of a Jackio. I don't know how much Napoleon went back and invested in his home. Home. I genuinely no idea. Yeah, somehow I don't think I'm surra <laughs> surrendering some peasants. You, you kind of need to get a line here. I'm, I'm sorry. However, I can give you an offer. I assume you're pretty good at... No, you're not. You usually have better than eight marshal when they lead something like this. And it looks like, yep, Aquitaine and Toulouse are independent. We will not allow this to continue. So, random ass claim and uh, Liberty War. I'm gonna get Lash out. Go. Lose some stress. Nice. I think my kid is turning out to be insane. Uh, he's accidentally awesome. Look at him. I didn't even educate him. Okay, well, he's not great, great. But yeah, he was destined for glory. So he got shr like shrewd and strong. It's actually pretty. He's actually a pretty good character. It's again, considering I never did anything to help him. We're getting close to the point. Here we go. We have a press claim on France. Now, he does have uh, technically more troops. Fine. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a claimant faction for me for the kingdom of France. Just drop send out a man. All right. And now we march for Paris, trying to uh, to appease me. Go this way around. Is he going to try and attack me? Why would you do that? Well, he's been rinsed. Okay, so to get to Paris, what if I went this way around? The game really wants me to lose all of my men in a pointless... Okay, if he's... Oh, God, he's just going to march around me, isn't he? He is. All right. Do you think he's leading his army? No, he's not. He's a coward. Because if I let him, he'll go and siege my lands, which I don't think he can do anymore because he does not possess an army. Okay, we're going to march across to Lise and And once we're on the sea, we're going to sail around to the capital of France, which is actually conveniently where he's... Oh, well, that's very convenient. I was going to say convenient where he's staging his troops, but I mean, I'll take that as well. Excellent. Right. We are now the king of France. No one tell, you know, Robespierre. We're only going to give land to our boys. I have another son. Grandson. Excellent. I mean, I kind of should have kept Ile de France and I forgot, but that's fine. So kingdom of Sardinia is in the middle of France. Sure. Why do I don't have a Casas Belline? I don't have a claim. I need to take out the king of Aquitaine. So it's uh, rather convenient that we can nip in here get ourselves a press claim and immediately declare war, although it's not going to be an easy one. Could let our French court is currently, ugh, disgusting. Go ahead and make it actually useful. We could wait, but that's cowardly. We're not doing that. Ugh, that's nasty. I was kind of hoping to get her entire kingdom. Spent a bunch of money to improve the Pope's opinion. Maybe we can get something else out of this. Dynasty Legacy, obviously warfare. All right, let's just do it. Catch her army. There's another army over here. Lightning defeat in detail. Did we catch her there? We do. And we are allowing them to unify the forces a bit here. So we are massively outnumbered. I think it's worth it to try and capture her. Assuming this is where she is. No, we don't get it. Or we take the fight to them. And they end up running away. That's very convenient. More defeated detail. But this time the enemy defeated themselves. In, in, in detail. Quick siege. We'll do it here. That's a nice victory there. Capture someone after a battle. And we do go ahead and take this land as well. Do I not have any more kids? Grandson, vassal, send this guy a gift. Working on this for a while. We need to take back the Duchy of Normandy. Why is the balance of power the same when we have 4,000 years, 1,000? He wants to fight me in what? You're gonna fight me in single combat? I don't know what the artifact is she's talking about. Okay, we lost. I don't know what I lost. A duck feather. You fought me for a duck feather. I lost and got my ass beat for a duck feather. Seems like a very French thing to do. Oh! Another capture. We're getting really lucky with these. All right, sweet. Uh, I think I need to actually start handing these out to people other than my kids. How many duchies do I have? Uh, just the one. So we're good. King of Hungary wants to marry my daughter. Damn, it's going to take me a little to put France back together again, you know? Oh, and the guy that I was... Annoying. The guy I was chatting up now is dead. Okay, we might be able to take longer dock. Yeah, I reckon we could do this one. Hmm, what's the next move? This new pop does not like me. All right, uh, I think there's nothing else really for it. I think we just need to start cleaning up these little these little ones. So let's start getting some claims. Okay, nice. All of Brittany. All of Brittany sounds like a good deal to me. Let's go ahead and declare war for all of Brittany. Okay, Poitiers is also involved. That's fine. Probably nip round me. Yeah, dude. Yeah, siege down Normandy. I don't care. Right, victory here would be very useful. This might actually tip it over the edge. It does. And there we go. We have Brittany.
Oh, that was stupid, wouldn't it? Why would you do this? I'm also ridiculously close to your front door. This seems like a terrible oversight, I'm not gonna lie to you. So none of my lands are here. They're all in Italy. The idea being, if we can get another 14 counties, which we should get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight there. Hopefully take a couple there. We can get the Kingdom of Aquitaine. So the Empire of Frank here on the card. If <laughs> big man at the top here can survive that lot. Play somewhat smaller ones first. All right. I gotta just ignore... Uh, I'm not at the stage of the game where I just ignore people trying to siege me because my lands are over here. <laughs> very safe, very prosperous. Immediately captured him. Very lucky without this game. Fire war over here. All right, that's another victory. You're very close. And he's terrified of me, which helps. Weirdly enough, the guys close to my border are less likely to uh, join in the fun. And by joining the fun, I mean surrender to me and join my realm. And another one bites the dust. And he'll now accept. And I just need four more provinces. Fortunately for me, I don't have the piety for it. I'm gonna say fortunately for me, I can get a claim for the Pope, but we need to go on a pilgrimage. All right, we're going to draw Jerusalem. All right, altruism. Let's go. It cost me a thousand. Fortunately, Ajaxio is not that far away from Jerusalem. Mid-Mediterranean means very few dangers. Found 95 gold. Nice. Is there anyone else that I can... Negative 63 is not going to happen. Negative 19 might rack up the piety. Okay, we have the required piety, so let's not mess around. Get ourselves a claim on the Duchy of Poitiers. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I think Gascony might be bigger, you know. I think Gascony, yeah. Damn, glad I checked. Furnished the pilgrimage. Did, did I just get extra? Can I get another one? Cool, Clone Poitiers as well. And we get ourselves healthy, and we're going to get whole body soon. Believe me, I'd love to go diplomatic and get people to accept vassalization, but uh, it's better for us to keep Napoleon alive. Let's go. Duchy of Gascon. Split this lot in two. Get the siege lot going after Gascony. And the other lot go into fighter. Not appear to be here. Kind of concerning that my spy masters keep on dying. I'm sure it's fine. Let's just not think about it. Finish the siege and then we'll crack on. And we are tearing through his land. Or her land. My apologies. <laughs> I apologize to the woman that I'm about to seize her territory from. Never should have rebelled against the king of France. What? No. Why would I? What? Why would I do a white piece? Doesn't make any sense. I seize strife and anger. I'm not sure how many of the decisions will make it into the video. But to be clear, I'm also... Uh... Oh, wow. We won. Uh, I'm also trying to keep my decisions to be as Napoleon as possible. Hand out this land. Why do I have more land? I've got 10 out of 9. Where did the new land come from? Oh, this one. My son. I am making all these guys um, a, a little bit Italian. I'd love to become French, but I... I oh, hang on. Here's how I become French. Can't revoke title because I've only ever... Now can I revoke your title? I can. County of Blois. Move our capital here. Then... We are going to convert to local culture. We become French. And then for tactical reasons, we're moving our capital back over. You can only move it once? Blois is now the capital of the French Empire. That, that makes sense. Yes, as, as it should be. All right. Kingdom of Aquitaine. If I send you a gift, will you join me? Neighbors can be vassalized. The priest hater can be vassalized. Get him in here. Okay, there's a couple of guys done. Get some of these guys out. All right. And I think we have to fight England for the Duchy of Anjou. Now, this is actually comparable strength now. As Napoleon, sh well, did several times. And in CK3, we don't have to worry about a navy. That's why we've been so successful. Turning up a river? You can do that? Why can you do that? I can't do that. Are you Viking or something? Are you of the House of Godwin? Why are you of the House of Godwin? Jesus Christ, that was brutal. Rival to a guy called the Duke the Gentle. I feel bad. That's not true. I don't feel bad at all. I'm Napoleon, I feel nothing. We've won the English war banner. All right, whole of body. Sweet. Now we're going to go diplomacy. Is it worth going diplomacy? I was thinking going diplomacy, foreign affairs focus, and then trying to get people to join me. We're going to do that. All right, march on. My rival is dead. I was rival to her, but she's dead. Do I have to land in England? I, I, it feels like I don't want to do it because it feels like cheating. It doesn't feel Napoleon enough. A lot of people are going to join this coalition. That's fine. Killing his troops does nothing for me, though. Oh, apparently it does because I captured the king. Can ransom for 200. Lucky for you, I don't need gold. Just need France to be whole. Right, we are going to have a, a bit of a riot on our hands. So when can I declare war? On you again and have a claim on Poitiers. Although I don't really need I don't think I needed it, but that's that's fine. A little more like create the Empire of Frank here. He's 65. Hold on, Napoleon. He died at the age of 51. So he's outlived actual Napoleon. A weirdly look, weird looking man, I'm just saying that. I think we're just accepting these um these things. What's that? My daughter and Scotland. Got two kids already. I mean, yeah, why not? Uh sure, I have no interest in Iberia. Because I know that's where Napoleon made several mistakes. So not doing that, did I? That's increasing the size of our armies here. Mm. So I can't get Provence. No, my wife's dead. That's bad. Oh, cool, he'll do it now. There we go. Toulouse is now ours. Oh, did you just break up? Oh, and you'll actually accept um my offer of vassalage. Sweet. This is amazing. She died. And everyone joins in. Yeah, for low feudal obligations, they'll join. Some of them for normal. Okay, we managed to reunify France. We can create the Empire of Frank. Yeah, we did it! We did it! And now these other guys will start accepting as well. Because they're meant to be part of this. Low obligations, you're close. If I send you a gift, I can't because I don't have any money. But if I did this? No, you, you absolutely wouldn't. Why not? Because my realm is dis- your realm is dis- It's really not. I'm going to seize your lands. Uh, let's take the other two armies. Actually, you go siege. We'll take these two armies and just march them into Genoa. Just hope he doesn't land any troops on- Yep, there it is. Oh, brave island. 
Switzerland's gonna be breached for the first time. Oh no, and a loss? Napoleon? Is this our Russia? Okay, bring in the reinforcements. Bring in the Poles. Oh, this is bad. People are joining revolutions against me. We have to get out of this war ASAP. So you go there. We're gonna ignore France for now. They're gonna force me to exile. Oh boy. That's a very easy way to win that peasant uprising. Nice. Okay, so what's going on here? It's a lot of troops. It's in Toulouse. That's fine. We have nothing to, to, to lose. Uh, okay, go and deal with this lot. Take back our sacred island and then we'll win the fort in Genoa and this should be it there we go we take that okay gather up our troops and figure out what our next moves are you voluntarily joined me why would you join for the liberty war yeah, we're fighting for a white piece here there's literally nothing to be gained from uh fighting all this lot i mean it's close but we just about win that we've been maimed as well we're one-eyed someone's trying to murder us my son's learned norse for some reason i forgot what time period who we are i was about to say oh that's so weird why is he learning norse okay we captured him nice Enforce demands, that deals with a lot of issues. Now, if I send this man a gift, he will agree to join. Excellent, Provence has joined. That's Frank here. Done, basically. And now we see how far we can get. How old are you? You're 69 years old. I can't imagine your health is great. From now on, we don't accept any ransom. Oh, uh, if I do this, I can grab another county. Could get the, get Lombardy going, get the Kingdom of Italy going, if we go for this. All right, let's just go on a wave of conquests. The battleground for this is going to be largely determined by him. Well, I wasn't paying attention there. Russian belligerents. Let's get the Venetians in here. Here's what I want to do. Let's get the Scots and call them in. And I want to do the same for the Serene Doge over here. Oh no, I'll be dead within the year. You were flooding men into this because I really don't want to lose this battle. Are we going to win that? Oh my God, we are. Okay, there's only one thing for it. Basically, none of you will survive. Come on, come on. Your emperor is going to die. <gasps> we actually got him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Frankie lives. He lives. Oh my God, Napoleon, take a bow, my friend. I'm surprised that went as well as it did. Yeah, the Byzantines are an absolute mess. I think we can say that we we are the preeminent power. There is there is no one that could beat Napoleon. Napoleon the able, as he dies, must be a respected scholar. That's. That's what you, you you did for him. Known to be a respected scholar, apparently. That's what you did for him. Well, there we go, chaps. That is where we will leave it. Ah, oh, look at that. Be like you, Napoleon. But there we go. Napoleon, Emperor Napoleon, died of... He just died of gout, really. He had gout since the age of, like, 15, so... <laughs> Sounds more than impressive to live that long. Uh, we survive as the greatest power. Uh, he actually doesn't have any revolts right now. Uh, we're looking pretty good. My brother's the king of Aquitaine. That's surprising. Very well done on him. I didn't, I didn't tell him to do that. We just did. So yeah, there's Napoleon. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please do make sure to like and subscribe. Please give me some suggestions for the CK3 playthroughs you want to see. I need to be dipping back into the, uh, uh, old Game of Thrones mod, uh, because I've been challenged by Midgeman. But that's a, a story for another time. Otherwise, chaps, see you next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my patrons. Most importantly, Redguard76. Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDAL52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. Your support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click.